वन टू थ्री लाइट्स ऑन एंड एक्शन हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू आर्ट अराउंड हाउस आई एम कला पुन्नूरी इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी माई अनदर विंडो गार्डन एंड वी लर्न हाउ टू मेक ब्यूटिफुल प्लांटर्स यूजिंग वेस्ट प्लास्टिक कंटेनर्स एंड मेक ओवर ऑफ ओल्ड सेरामिक पॉट्स शेल वी स्टार्ट these are the heroes of today's video as we are going to make them into planters you can choose the containers in different shapes to make them look very interesting most of the times we tend to throw away the ceramic pots when we feel the design is outdated or the color is faded but in today's video we will learn the makeover of these ceramic pots Sometimes you find stubborn stickers on the container. So first soak the container in water for 2-3 hours. After soaking the container in water, the paper comes out easily. But you find some residue of sticky glue. You can easily remove this glue either by using thinner which you get it any hardware shop or by using nail paint remover. Similarly I cleaned the glue on this container also but nowadays most of the containers come with such kind of labels which are very easy to remove now you are a member of art around house so you are not supposed to throw any part of the container so keep the lid for later use now we will paint this plastic container using fevicryl acrylic paint here i am using the color teal blue add 1/4 teaspoon of pop which is plaster of paris in 15 ml bottle of paint and mix it well when we add pop to the paint the paint coats the container very well and gives a nice texture in a way there is no base coat required apply the paint all over the container using a paint brush start dabbing with a sponge when the paint is wet initially you will see tiny tiny bubbles but keep dabbing till the bubbles disappear and soon you notice the paint looks even and no traces of brush strokes basic painting of a plastic container is the same every time once you understand and learn this you can make n number of planters and home decor and experiment unlimited now finish the dabbing all over the container and leave it for drying completely it is very very important to allow the paint gets completely dry before applying the second coat i suggest to leave it for 6 to 8 hours depends on the season so better leave it overnight after the second coat again leave it for drying completely so this is the finish after the second coat do you find any traces of unevenness of paint or any strokes of brush simply apply paint and dab with sponge it's as simple as that and no tricks are needed and no skill is needed to get this great finish now the paint is completely dry so let's make some design on the bottle when i say design not necessarily we have to make some intricate and extraordinary designs on the bottle just by making some simple design also we can make the bottle look beautiful you all must have tried your hand at making mehndi designs at some point using 3d liner is easier than that Just buy one 3D liner which costs around 20 rupees and practice some designs on paper. You will agree with me how easy it is. Here I am making a design which does not require the tracing of design on the bottle. If you are a beginner, practice the design once or twice on a waste paper and then you can directly make the design on the container. Okay. coming to the ceramic pot how many of you thought that we cannot paint on a ceramic pot as it has a smooth surface have you ever tried painting on a ceramic pot okay 
this is the opportunity for you all to explore and transform all your faded and uh, dirty ceramic pots into new and uh, beautiful pots whenever you make a new color better to mix enough paint for two coats as you may not get the same shade when you make the color for the second coat so always save the empty paint bottles for this purpose painting a ceramic pot is exactly the same as painting a plastic container which we did just now so follow the same process here also if the existing design on the ceramic pot is visible after two coats of painting then the third coat is required generally two coats are enough so this is the finish after two coats of painting can you believe that this is the same ceramic pot which you almost decided to throw away here also we will use the same design but make it in a different way after the paint and the design which we made is completely dry give two coats of varnish but remember to let the first coat become completely dry before giving the second coat of varnish i used asian paints ecuador pu water based varnish here while applying varnish i noticed something which i want to share with you all i am in a great hurry to finish the video and uh, applied varnish without giving enough time for the paint to dry completely so this is the result don't you think this looks amazing so whenever such things happen don't worry just enjoy the consequences apply varnish on plastic container also you must be wondering why i left this part of the containers unfinished so now we'll cover this part using m seal apply some oil or vaseline in your palms before mixing the two substances of m seal make a marking on ceramic pot leaving around half an inch from top wait for the m seal to become little hard and then start rolling it while rolling it if it sticks to the surface then you need to wait for little more time to get the m seal harder now roll the m seal using any talcum powder and flatten it into a strip place the strip on the marked area over the ceramic pot and press it gently so that the strip sticks to the surface cover the entire area as you are seeing in the video smooth in the uneven m seal surface by brushing with a sponge to get a pattern on m seal we don't need to use any mold we can make our own design on m seal by using a simple trick just press the comb on m seal to get the impressions of the comb teeth keep making the impressions all over and uh, there is no particular pattern as such after finished making the pattern leave it for m seal to become hard completely now m seal became hard completely i feel the black color of m seal is not going well with the blue color ceramic pot so i made this muted bluish gray color by mixing little black blue and white colors now apply paint on m seal using a brush here one coat of paint is enough otherwise the impressions which we made will not be visible clearly don't worry if you smudge the paint on yellow part while applying the gray paint you can just wipe it with a wet cloth immediately as they are planters we need to make them waterproof so apply two coats of varnish the planter is ready i am placing asparagus fern inside the pot this plant survives both in sunlight and shade 
So me, it turned out I'm sure I'll get calls from my friends and family for this spot. Now the planter is ready. You can directly put soil and add plant inside. But I use waste plastic containers as planters which fit inside the containers that we painted. This way it is very convenient to change the plant whenever we want and the painted pot also remains clean. So here I placed bamboo palm inside this ceramic pot. Bamboo palm survives very well in low light. It doesn't require sunlight. I made two similar pots to maintain a symmetry while arranging the pots in my window. Similarly, I placed pink syngonium inside these plastic containers. This plant needs light but not sunlight. If you place this plant in direct sunlight, the pink leaves turn green. So this is what I made with the blue aerial container. And uh, here you may notice that you can use the same design but make it in variation according to the shape of the container. Here I am placing the plant Enjoy Pothos and this plant also thrives very well in low light. This is one of the air purifying plants. This is what I made from Amber plastic container and here I am placing Dracaena golden milky plant inside this container. This plant also doesn't require sunlight but needs little bright light. You can propagate this from cuttings. I made few more planters. Here I am placing Aurelia in this pot. Aurelia stays very well in low light and you can propagate this from cuttings. This is an old ceramic pot which I painted and uh, here I am placing the plant Philodendron Gold. It is one of the varieties of Philodendron. This plant is also an air purifying plant. This plant doesn't require direct sunlight and survives very well in neglect conditions. In previous video, we made these animals and birds and placed them on wall putty blocks this way. But now I changed the placing of animals and birds like this to make them more visible when I keep them in my window garden. Which way you preferred, the previous one or this one? Let me know in the comments. These were the pots which I kept in my window previously but somehow not happy with the pots and placing them in a single row. So shall we see the new arrangement of pots, animals and birds which we made? Since we painted the containers, you may think that cleaning these containers is not easy. You can just wipe them with a wet cloth or rub with sponge using any soap. Make your own planters and accessories using minimum materials and minimum expenses and transform your window into a beautiful garden. Water them only when the topsoil is dry as they are in shade. I water them once in 3 days. If you don't get enough sunlight in your window, I suggest to go for all these plants as they survive very well in shade and uh, they are doing very well in my window for years. So this is what Art Around House is all about. I hope you enjoyed watching my video. If you did, please like, share and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to hit the bell icon. See you in my next video with more ideas and new creations. So keep watching. Thank you.